It was the summer before sixth grade. My voice was cracking, my pits were sweating, and my mom bought me a book called Things Are Changing. None of the girls in my class would talk to me anymore, except for one, Daisy Weeks. She lives next door and we'd been best friends since kindergarten. I was convinced I would marry her one day. On the last day of summer, I gave her a Daisy ring as a sign of my love, and she gave me a promise. If I'm not married by 30, I'll marry you, Ned Turner. Pinky promise? And here I am, senior year. No Daisy and no date to homecoming. Sixth grade was weird. Seventh grade was weirder. Daisy got prettier and I got smellier. We both got busy and I didn't really get to see her anymore. I mean, we still got invited to Miss Weeks' annual neighborhood New Year's bash, but things were just different. Sometimes if I was lucky, she would talk to me just long enough so that I could see the Daisy ring on her finger. I hadn't lost hope until... Mom, you can just drop us off. You don't have to come in. I'll be here to pick you up when the movie's over and have her home by 10. I don't know. I thought the movie was pretty good. It's pretty good. You don't like it? <laughs> Hey Daisy. Hey Luke. Oh, this is Daisy. Oh yeah, this is my cousin. Hi, I'm Ned's nanny. I don't think we've met. And with that, Ned shriveled up and died. Or, you know, high school started and I had to live with the embarrassment. We both lost the braces and Daisy kept getting prettier. I didn't get to see her much due to my poorly paid, probably gonna get fired soon barista job, except for one glorious hour and a half every other day during eighth period show choir. It's a bit hard to see her perfect pirouettes and swishing hair from my spot as the auxiliary percussionist, but I'll take what I can get. Hey, Brad. Hey, Daisy. Oh, uh, what can I get you guys? Yeah, I'll have the double chocolate chip with extra whip, three pumps of vanilla, and then a caramel drizzle. Just a small coffee. After the copy shop incident, I was almost 100% sure Brad and Daisy wouldn't stay together. There was no way those chocolatey chip stains would be coming out of her shirt. Hey Brad! My mom said you could come to the lake with us this weekend, our first road trip. Of course, babe. You know I'd go anywhere with you. <laughs> Except shopping, your soccer games, your dance recitals, and the movies that you like. But you already knew that. Have fun at the lake, Brad. Daisy Poo, I was busy. <coughs> <coughs> This isn't working. We're done. I thought when Daisy and Brad broke up, we'd have a chance. But then I ruined everything. Here are your two drinks. I saw you. You did that on purpose. No, I... Ned, I'm on to you. You constantly trying to ruin things for me. I've seen all the other countless schemes you pulled since the sixth grade. Patrick's not even my boyfriend. He's my cousin from Michigan. I'm sorry, I- Forget about it. That was a long time ago. So here I am. Still no date to homecoming. And Daisy hates me. <sighs> Ned! Someone's at the door for you! I'll pick you up by 7. By 7.30.